Hey, hey, what guys? Uh, here, I'm gonna teach you how to flush Wheaton, Alabama by Linear Skinner. Uh, sorry about the blanket, I'm not here or anything, but uh, yeah, I'm having a party at my house right now. We're off school today, so yeah. <laughs> Yeah, my first video, uh, not many people, you just start with it. Nobody even looked at it because I put not effort. Now I've learned the entire song be set for the end, which is like where he puts his guitar up like this and it's playing like this. Yeah, it's really cool. But, uh, yeah, it's complicated. Not many people know how to do it. Uh, start with it. You're gonna use your D chord without the middle finger. And that's how that's done. Okay, so first you're gonna want to put your index finger third string second fret and your ring finger on the second string of the th third fret and then you want to pluck your fourth string which is your D string two times then you want to go to your B string which is second string I accidentally strummed it twice but you're only supposed to do it once so it's and then you go to your G chord G so now you go All you do is you remove your index finger and move your middle finger up to the fifth string of the third fret. So you got this. And then you play fifth string two times. Then you do the same thing. And then you move up one more to the sixth string third fret. You play that. And then you play wavy, which a wavy line in music actually means play it. I'm playing it just a little bit faster. Show you what I'm I'm strumming is your D string, your G string, and your B string. Miss all that. So after all that, this is what you got. Got that so far. For the first riff. For first riff it goes. Alright, so first you pluck your fifth string hammer on second fret go to your fourth string so you hammer on open two pull off and then you go to your third string play two and pull off just like that. And then for the next part, you play the same thing. You play your intro. three times is for the second riff. Alright, play G string open, hammer on, pull off. 
then you go to your fourth fret. You do the same thing. Then you go to your fifth fret and play. So so far you got this. You're gonna go to your ninth fret, this string, place it there, and then you're gonna play that and hammer on this tenth fret and the eleventh fret. I'm not very good at pentonic scale, so it's not gonna sound it the best. <laughs> bar chord across the uh, fourth string to the high E string and you pluck this string and this string two times that string and that string so so far it should sound then you move down to 7th fret then you move all the way down here you first finger on 5th string and you slide to 2nd and then you play B and G So far you got the entire song. Comment, rate, subscribe, do what you want. I don't care. Uh, I would prefer comment, send me questions. I don't care. Add me as a friend. But, yeah, I gotta get back to my party, so. See you.